Greetings, intrepid prospectors. IG here, your Icarus guide and entertainer extraordinaire. Buckle up those oxygen masks, because we're about to embark on another journey through the cosmic wilderness in part four of our advanced tips series. But before we dive into these game-changing tips, if you haven't joined the IG family yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's turn your Icarus experience into an epic adventure. Yes, friends, the new Turbo Ginsu! It dices, it slices, and yet makes french fries in three different... Whoops! Kids. First up, we have the three-in-one tool. Forget about those clunky multi-tools. The machete is where it's at. It slices, it dices, and with the If It Works talent, it even moonlights as a lumberjack. We're talking about cutting down trees with the precision of a ninja on a caffeine high. Need some extra oomph? Attach an electroshock module for stunning results or a melee attack speed attachment for some Machete Olympus. Just don't blame us if you start challenging bears to a tree cutting competition. Now, who doesn't love a little magic on the battlefield? Enter the Ninja Disappearing Dust, aka the Smoke Bomb. Throw one down, disappear in a puff of smoke, and watch creatures scratch their heads in confusion. It's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, but with more teeth and claws. Pro tip, use it strategically. Run out of the smoke, find a cozy hiding spot, and enjoy the show. Just remember, it's not magic, it's survival. Time to unleash your inner architect with the perfect octagon trick. Who needs straight lines when you can build circles with octagons? Get creative, build grand designs, and turn Icarus into your personal canvas. And speaking of creativity, have you seen our Grassland Coliseum Cafe in the Coliseum? It's like Starbucks, but with more Drax in the queue. Carpentry bench enthusiasts rejoice. Did you know crafting wood building pieces is cheaper at the carpentry bench? It's like getting a discount on your survival essentials. Carpentry bench, your budget-friendly crafting companion. It's like finding a sale in the middle of the wilderness. I mean, who says survival can't be cost-effective? Cave resetting. It's not a cheat code, it's a pro strategy. Clearing large caves without diving too deep is the name of the game for beginners. It's like redecorating without breaking a sweat. Who knew interior design skills could save your life? No need to spelunk into the abyss. Just clear out those caves strategically and mine without worrying about a poisonous surprise attack. Gary. Bunny hopping, not just for the playground, it's a stamina-saving survival strategy. Acrobatics 2 and plyometrics turn you into a hopping pro. It's like having kangaroo jeans without the pouch. Jump, jump, and away you go. It's the ultimate stamina-efficient travel mode. Just avoid any competitive hopscotch games with the locals. Iron storages, drying racks, and workshop items like the MXC crate are storm-proof. Your items might get wet, but these babies stand strong. It's like having storm-resistant furniture in a land where storms are the norm. A campfire that doubles as storage? It's like having your cake and eating it too. Who said survival couldn't be stylish? Miasma Pickaxe, the superhero of resource gathering. Mine with it, and it splits yields like a pro. But beware, carrying too many crusts turns you into a poison piñata. It's like a risky game of roulette, but for miners. Gather resources like a boss, but don't let the poison overwhelm you. It's a balancing act, literally. Efficient exotic gathering. Buffaloes and carts, the dynamic duo of exotic harvesting. Load them up, attach extractors and windmills, and you've got a mobile workshop. It's like a crafting caravan, but with more fur and fewer parking fees. Prospector's best friend, exotic gathering on wheels. Just don't forget the seatbelt for your buffalo. Safety first, even in the wilderness. And last, 
last but not least, efficiently locate exotic deposits. Use your workshop scanner, mark the map, and follow the glow at night. It's like a treasure hunt, but instead of X marking the spot, it's an eerie glow leading you to riches. Now, that wraps up part four of our advanced tip series. But hold on to your helmets. We've got more content coming your way. Talent reviews and the ultimate weather guide are in the works. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and as always, happy prospecting. Until next time, fearless prospectors. Keep those oxygen tanks full and may your adventures in Icarus be as legendary as the tips we just shared. See you in the next one.